Well, it is my day off today. So I was gonna try to film some video or do something today, but I think I've kind of decided to maybe just try to relax a little bit and just enjoy my time here around the property. So I was looking outside here today. Um, so there's a couple wild ducks right there. They're swimming off. I figured they would when I came outside. But right down here, there's actually a couple duck eggs on the ground. So we're gonna go down and see if we can find some duck eggs. So duck eggs aren't like chicken eggs. They don't lay in nests. Um, they just kind of lay along the shoreline and uh, sometimes they actually a lot of their eggs end up just being at about a foot deep in water they just lay them right in the water and uh, my little buddy here comet hey buddy he is he's a little uh egg hunter so usually in the mornings he kind of does like a patrol around the pond and he finds all the eggs and he eats them so, so far this morning, he has not gone around looking for duck eggs. So we're gonna try to beat him to it, see if we can get these duck eggs. Because normally, the dog gets most of them. And then there's eggshells everywhere. Uh, after, you know, the aftermath, you can see the evidence everywhere after afterwards. But let's see if we can go find some duck eggs. So we actually got um, a ton of rain the last couple days and then it had a thin layer of snow on top of it last night. So the pond is up. So there may actually be a lot more eggs under the water than there is on shore. So let's have to see. So here's the overflow pipe on the pond. You can see that it's actually uh, a little over halfway up on the pipe. Uh, yesterday, last night, you couldn't even see the pipe. It was completely covered. So the pond's gone down, uh, you know, about four or five inches overnight. <clears throat> but we did see a lot of activity last night. It seemed like the fish were really... Uh, coming up close to the shore. I don't know if it was just because they could get to the grass since the water was up But there was a lot more activity last night with the uh, fish. So uh, I may even actually try to fish today oh, 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 I found an egg. I found an egg You see it right here. There's an egg. No comment. No, 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 I just <laughs> he's about to get the other two so here's two more duck eggs right here on the shore. And, and then this is normally how you find them. They're just either laying here in the grass or you actually see them out in the water. And then you need some muck boots or some waders to be able to get them. Cause they'll be, you're gonna get, uh, you gotta get in the water to get them. Uh, oh, drop that one a few inches. All right, three duck eggs so far. Comet looks a little disappointed that he didn't get them. So duck eggs actually, to me, uh, they taste just like a chicken egg. Uh, they're just bigger. They got a bigger yolk. They're just a way bigger egg. But if you, you cook them, to me a duck egg tastes really no different than a chicken egg. So I just, uh, I'll just cook them in my breakfast just like I would you know any other egg or we'll use them in baking a lot of people like to use duck eggs in baking so now that i'm out here i won't be surprised if the ducks actually kind of follow me around because they're used to us giving them corn and food so usually when we're out here they kind of pay attention and make sure that they're not missing out on any food <clears throat> So you guys got any more duck eggs hidden anywhere? Huh? Hey. See, they're actually gonna come up on shore. Since it rained so much, um, the, um, you know, we've had a lot of runoff. I've got farm fields all the way around me. So the water is actually pretty murky today. I can't see down in it. So I won't be surprised that when the water goes down, give it a couple days after the rain for it to clear up if we actually find some more eggs uh, that are actually in the water. But right now I'm not finding any, I'm not seeing any through the water. When the pond gets up like this, the ducks just, they just love it. I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it makes worms come out of the soil or what, but man, they just love eating through, you know, this grass now that it's all submerged. And uh, I don't know, they've got to be getting something because they just, they just love picking through all this grass and, and eating uh, in this, you know, when everything's kind of flooded like this. 
Well, well, I can only actually walk pretty much just about a third of our shoreline because uh, there's two thirds of it are, are woods and just hard to get to. And uh, the ducks have actually, they go everywhere on this pond and uh, it's hard saying exactly where there might be some more eggs. But if I don't find them, either my dog or some coon or something will. And uh, somebody will get them. <clears throat> Actually, the funny thing is, like, after winter time and the pond, the you know, was frozen and it thawed out and everything kind of cleared up, there's one spot in the water we found, like, I think it, you know, there was like five or six duck eggs that were <laughs> under the water. And at some point in time, we actually had eggs on the ice where they had laid them on the ice in the winter time. And uh, we never did get to any of those eggs. Um, I'd say this spring we'll try to pull all the ones out of the water and we'll probably just toss them because there's no way we're going to know how long they've been in there. We could do the we could do the float method of course i mean they're in water so if they're still sitting on the bottom they're probably not bad um once an egg um, starts going bad it'll kind of stand up at the bottom and then it'll eventually start to float and uh so if we find them still sitting on the bottom they're probably okay but we'll probably just at some point in time go around the pond find all the ones in the water we'll probably just get rid of them and then uh, we'll know we're all starting off you know, from scratch, and then everything we find in the water is a fresh duck egg. Well, there's one other spot that the ducks have been going here lately. So, uh, back in the woods back here, I actually, I've got like kind of a, like a silt, I don't know what you want to call it. It's kind of a, uh, like a silt pond, you know, it's kind of like an overflow pond. So a lot of the, so my south fields in the south flow into it, and then it overflows into my pond. It kind of catches all the all the sediment it's a sediment pond and uh, the ducks have discovered that and have been back here I think because it's just full of tadpoles and frogs and stuff like that but uh, we're gonna go back here and check it out because there's a good chance there might even be some eggs back here but I know this is a really popular place for raccoons at night uh, so I guess if the chances are if they laid eggs back here probably a coon's already got them but we'll go ahead and give it a shot One of our one of our tree stands back there sometimes you get some animals coming through here to get to this sediment pond Let me show it so back here this is a sediment pond here in the woods and um, right now it's not quite yeah it's it's high enough it's flowing into the pond and it is windy out here so, let me walk around here and see if we find any eggs. I find crawdads down here sometimes. So, so yeah. So this sediment pond, it uh, comes around here and it flows into my pond. So a lot of times this right here is dry and uh, it only gets enough, you know, when it rains, it gets enough water to actually flow into the pond. <clears throat> but this thing is just basically a frog pond in the summertime. So, not sure uh, if the ducks are finding something back here to eat, but they've been spending a lot of time back here lately. <clears throat> so I'm standing on this, this is kind of like a berm, and it's in between our pond and this, uh, in this sediment pond behind me and there's just there's fencing all through this property from from different uh animals that they've had throughout the years and even on this berm right here there's an old fence row here with old fencing that goes down that way and uh <clears throat> of course it's in not very good shape but uh this this uh this property's got old fence lines everywhere bad thing is this property still has lots of junk everywhere you can see that back here this is obviously where people used to camp I don't know if we can see all that there's some old camping gear old lanterns and some stuff kind of sitting here some old chairs and uh, just stuff that needs cleaned up well that was our first duck eggs of the year 
uh, that we've actually collected. Uh, we've seen plenty of duck eggs out there. It's just they're usually already ate by the dog. So three ducks eggs in a day. Uh, we only got few, five females. So actually that's pretty good getting uh, three a day. So ducks don't lay quite as often as chickens. So a lot of times we may even go out looking for eggs and not find any. So we don't know if it's the dog or if they're just not laying. But uh, three duck eggs is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and put these inside. So we'll go ahead and get these cleaned off and put them in the fridge. So here's our three duck eggs. We've got them cleaned off. Just wanted to show you compared to, so here's a couple of our chicken eggs. And this chicken egg right here, this is actually a pretty good sized chicken egg. And uh, so we'll compare the two. And you can see just how much bigger a duck egg is. I don't know if this really gives you some perspective, but a duck egg's quite a bit bigger. So we'll put, <clears throat> I'll put these duck eggs in this carton and I'll just show you the difference in size here. The <clears throat> so there's the duck eggs in the carton next to the chicken eggs. They're just way bigger egg. In fact, I need probably a special carton to be able to hold these duck eggs because you're not going to be able to get the lid shut. The hair, her hair is blowing. <laughs> it's too windy outside. It's so windy. And it's pretty chilly. Well, since this is my second day off in Month. four weeks, yeah, I think uh, we're going to go try to enjoy ourselves today and just kind of take it easy. So, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.